collection of various... You're listening to See No Evil Street Sound. 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 Street Sound. Street Sound. Hi, my name is Mike, and uh, I go under the name of China Mike. Um, basically, it was. Inky from See No Evil approached me to do a piece on, gave, gave me a space basically um, to do something on the wall. Um, and I basically just wanted to replicate something that I've been working on in the studio, like taking the same themes that I've been working on on my canvas and my paperwork um, and just take it on a bigger scale and try and try to sort of incorporate more spray can work because I, I use spray paint as, a, as an element of my work, but I tend to work mixed media, oil pastels, oil paint, acrylics normally. So to go large on the wall, it was just easier to kind of use spray paint. And it was good for me as well to sort of loosen my hand up and and do, do something a bit bigger and a bit more sort of out there, if you like. Um, the theme really was, was based around the See No Evil um, idea, which was just to sort of regenerate the area, you know, to try and add some beauty, try and add some... Um, just re reinvigorate it, re you know, regenerate the area because it's it's kind of been for the longest time pretty grey, pretty bleak, um, pretty disused, um, and that was the whole theme of the of the see no evil thing. So f for me, uh, producing a piece producing a piece of artwork for it was just um, take the idea of, of beauty and nature and kind of put it in a space where that's kind of a space that was kind of devoid of that. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. The idea of, of freeing something, you know, sort of freeing your your inhibitions or freeing your prejudices, maybe, you know. I think it was. I thought the the the, uh, the bird was kind of symbolic of that. The guy with the, the the empty cage for a head and the sort of holding the bird in front of him. So he's sort of giving something back, setting something free, you know. And it tied into the whole idea of the, of the um of the whole see no evil thing as well, I thought. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Started upon, because I used to do a lot of sort of um, animal portraits and stuff like that, and I, I wanted to sort of get more into figurative stuff and, and deal with the human sort of aspect. Um, so that's really where that, that stems from, and that's just coming from my studio work. Um, and, and nature as well, because that's always been something that I've I've worked on, I've worked with in in the studio, sort of, you know, in a photorealistic sort of style. So I kind of wanted to bring together the sort of my interest in graffiti, but also my interest in in classical sort of fine art painting, and try and bridge the gap. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me, yeah, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Uh, it was a good opportunity because I, th I thought it was something that needed to happen, it's something that Bristol's needed for a long time, a kind of, there's a lot of uh, disused spaces in, in Bristol, it's, uh, you know, particularly kind of drab, grey walls, and it's just quite nice to sort of see things, see a bit of colour and a bit of uh, creativity being injected into those areas. I think people in general also have kind of really appreciated that as something that people, you know, the community as a whole have, have been really behind. Um, you could just see that there was a real nice atmosphere, everyone seemed to be enjoying it, M you know, the music as well, because that was part of the whole the whole idea behind it, it was, it was just a general creative sort of outpouring. Thank you. 